Welcome back to Western Mass News, everyone, at 430. I'm Chris Pisano. A suspected hate crime is under investigation in Greenfield after a pride flag was found destroyed. It comes after a separate act of vandalism involving artwork in the city. Western Mass News reporter Lindsey Kane has the details. At this point, uh, view it as an act of vandalism and possibly a hate crime. Hawks and Reed Performing Arts Center has been flying a pride flag ever since the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting, which targeted the LGBTQ community in Orlando, Florida. But owner Stephen Goldshire says that the flag was vandalized earlier this month. Unfortunately, it was torn and shredded, and uh, it was mounted in a steel flag uh, mount on the front of our building, so somebody had to intentionally put a lot of force on it to break that. An employee at nearby City Hall contacted Golsher after finding the flag lying between the two buildings. This comes after the recent destruction of work done by the local artist known as Mr. Drag that was hanging on the front of the former First National Bank. Golcher says since the incidents happened so closely together, he perceives his flag vandalism as a hate crime. The fact that the, the flag was torn in the fashion in which it was, it seems to appear that somebody really wanted to make a statement. It doesn't appear as though it was just a random act. The president of Franklin County Pride released this statement to Western Mass News saying, The recent defacing of the Hawks and Reed Pride flag and Joe DeLude's artwork are not isolated incidents, but are part of a larger effort of a hateful minority to make LGBTQ people in Franklin County and around the region feel unsafe and unwelcome. Goldshire says his building hasn't experienced something like this in the past, but when asked if he will be replacing his flag, Absolutely, yes. We'll, we'll be uh, getting a new flag and proudly flying it. Now the police are actively investigating this incident. In the meantime, Hawks and Reed Performing Arts Center will be hosting events in the beginning of October in order to bring the community together. In Greenfield, Lindsey Kane, Western Mass News.